such as Roguewing, Coraline, or Helen R.D. over a Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. Okay, finished the Corsair and decided that I've got time. Looking at the calendar, I've got just under four weeks. So if I keep things simple, don't do anything too crazy, I can probably pull off a fourth build for the contest. So I'm going to go ahead and start one. I don't know if I'll get it done. If I don't, oh well. I figure the money going to the contest is going for a good cause either way. Alright, now, as to what I'm going to do, it's going to be another, custom, another Star Trek themed custom. I'm going to start with the Generations Enterprise B kit from Ertl AMT. It's about one one thousandth scale. Only, like I did with my first build, the Twins, I'm going to take it and convert it into one of my own designs. In this case, something I called a Mutara class cruiser. It's based off the Sovereign class, and the big the big changes in it are I lose the the neck, I slope the original impulse engines down into the, the secondary hull, and I sweep back the struts instead of using the standard Excelsior struts. To get the sweep back on the struts, I'm going to use the struts left over from the twins. I've actually got two sets of these to work with because I didn't use either set from the uh, Odysseus builds. And I've actually got quite a bit to work with inside the inside the box here. I mean that's that's the stock kit. Your clear sprue. Nearly none of this kit's going to wind up clear because I'm not planning on lighting it. So I don't see much of a point. But all in all, this should prove to be an interesting little build. And I hope you guys don't like, don't mind rather, following along. Okay. Real quick update on the Mutara build. Parts are going together really quick, but there's some nasty seams to deal with, and I'll give you, give you a quick look here. Saucer's primary assembly is done. I'm not worried about the impulse vents, because these engines will actually be filled by the slopes I showed in the diagram. I do have some nasty seamage running around the perimeter here. This side it's not so bad, but on this side they're, they're, they're just plain ugly. Secondary hulls coming together. As you can see, I've got the bay in place. This seam isn't too bad. Mostly just have to deal with a little stair steppage. This seam has taken a lot of work already, so we're getting close on it. The next big seam I need to work on is right here in the uh, navigational deflector pocket. And that seam runs all the way around it. Not going to be fun to get in. Fortunately, my best tool for smoothing aves is my finger and that will definitely fit in there. I've also started modifying the parts I need for the warp struts. What I did here is this would be the normal centerpiece for the Excelsior type struts. I've gone ahead and cut off the strut. I have also gone in and assembled the struts from the 1 1,000th refit of the Enterprise. Now I just need to taper them so that when I connect it here, I'll have the right angle for my warp nacelles. That's where we sit 
I'm hoping this will be just about as quick a build as it looks like it'll be. I haven't decided yet if I want to Aztec this or not. If I do Aztec it, it'll be decals. It won't be, uh, it won't be paint. One, I'm not that crazy about painting Aztecs. Two, I'm not that crazy about painting Aztecs. I, there are some decals available to print for the Aztecs for this ship. They're available from uh, Starship Modeler. And I have downloaded them, I just haven't printed them out yet while I still decide if I'm going to go that route. Stay tuned. <laughs>